You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell. Sponsored by Absolute Mortgage, a division of Pinnacle Capital Mortgage Corporation. Now, in the studio, local mortgage and finance expert, Tina Mitchell. Welcome back to The Money Hour with your host and mortgage expert, Tina Mitchell, right here at 1150 AM, KKNW, the Saturday, May 7th show. I bring into studio each week the best of the best experts in our local market on everything regarding your money. I'm here to help you in today's economy. If you're hearing my show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast, but you can always call the show at one 855 or online at themoneyhour.com. Again, that's one 855 or themoneyhour.com. And in studio right now, Robert Christensen with Amada Senior Care. No matter what you're doing, no matter what you do for living and where you are in life, there's always an opportunity to better protect your loved ones. And long-term care insurance is what we're going to talk about today. Robert, welcome back in studio again. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Tina. And a little bit about uh, Robert. Amada Senior Care, owner and locations in Tacoma, Bellevue, Vancouver, Portland, and Salem, Oregon. Uh, Amada Senior Care provides home care, home health, and placement services. Robert has over 20 years working in healthcare field. Uh, Amada Senior Care educates seniors and their families about what resources are available for them as they age and need care. Amada Senior Care has ex- expertise in working with seniors that have long-term care insurance and educates families about the care options both in home and community. Amada Senior Care is committed to providing the highest level of care in home or find the most appropriate place of care in the community. Um, They help families find the best assisted living facility, memory care unit, adult family home, or other facilities to provide care when home is no longer an option. So again, we're talking about uh, term care insurance policy to pay and how to pay for that. So, so what services does Amada Senior Care provide? Can you go into more detail, Robert? Well, Tina, first thing we would like to do is sit down with the family and get an idea of what are the exact care needs that the family is facing right mm-hmm. now in this point. A lot of times they're in, either in a hospital or in a rehab center or at home and, and know that, that uh, they need some additional care. So We'll review with them what financial assets they have to pay for the care and then talk about uh, care in the home. And predominantly, as we age, as, as our parents age, their goal is to stay in the home as long as they can. And mm-hmm. so our our bread and butter, if you will, of what we do is we provide caregivers that are licensed and uh, um, trained. We actually have our own training school that trains caregivers and certifies them. And so we'll provide care in the home for as long as possible. And when that's not an option anymore, then we'll help educate them about what's in the community and help identify the most appropriate place for them for both care and the resources that they have to pay for that care. Perfect. So could you share with my listeners, Robert, the difference between long-term care insurance versus Medicare? Sure. Um, you know, when we turn 65, you know, we're eligible for Medicare benefits. And, mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of people think that Medicare is going to be for them and going to pay for all their care needs as they age. And they find out that they actually need to purchase some supplemental insurance or an Advantage plan to augment their, their what Medicare will pay for. And so Medicare pays for all the medical care that they're going to need uh, as they age. And okay. they go to the doctor and the hospitals. Long-term care insurance is more for the non-medical care. So as we age, as as seniors age, as we all age, um, we lose function with the ability to help getting dressed and Mm -hmm. bathed and getting in and out of bed. And long-term care insurance has triggers that when we lose that function with those ADLs, it kicks in and helps seniors remain in their home as long as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, How does the policyholder know when they should access their long-term care insurance benefits? You know, th- there are six triggers that are in active th- that are in long-term care insurance policies. Okay, what and, are those six? Um, bathing, dressing, transferring, toileting, incontinence care, and feeding, which is the act of putting food in your mouth, not making meals, mm-hmm. um, and a, and a cognitive impairment. Those are the those are the triggers that trigger the benefits that will pay for the care. There are other benefits, which are called ID, IADLs, or Instrumental Activities of Daily Living. Uh-huh. And that's what most seniors are thinking about when they buy these policies. And that's helping with housekeeping and laundry and linens and taking them to the doctor's appointments. Yes. And, and so a lot of people call their, their broker, their insurance agent, or, or they will call us and say, hey, I need help with these IADLs. Yes. And, um, 
and they think that that they're, they're, they're that all this is going to be paid for. And a lot of times they'll activate their benefits, and that's all they need help with, and they get frustrated when the insurance company doesn't pay for them. So it's important to know that there's a difference between those six primary activities of daily living that we talked about, uh-huh. bathing, dressing, transferring. Because you need at least two of those, and once you've been certified by a healthcare professional, a nurse, or a social worker, or your doctor, then the policy will pay for the care and those IADLs. But you need the you need to be certified with those at least two of the activities of daily living first. Got it. So does long term care insurance only pay for care when they're in the nursing home? And and no, because so you can explain that to my listeners because they it's keeping them in their house, correct? Sure. Now you know when when these policies were sold decades ago. And what people, you know, what seniors are most afraid of is that they're going to end up in a nursing home. Mm-hmm. And, and the cost of nurse, a nursing home today is about $300 a day for a single room. And so when people purchase these policies, you know, the home health care wasn't as robust as it is today. The assisted living facilities weren't out there. Adult family homes were new. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of people bought these policies to cover the cost of care when they're in a nursing home. And so in their minds, they're thinking that I got this so in case I'm stuck in a nursing home that this will pay for some of that care. And uh, so a lot of seniors have these policies, and they actually are eligible to utilize them in their home. Uh-huh. But they, were, they when they purchased them, they were thinking, this is for when I go into the nursing home. So they're not taking advantage of the, the insurance that they have because they don't understand their policy. Correct, correct. Okay. So what are some issues that seniors should be aware of when they're filing for the, their insurance claim? Well, I think the, the the most important thing we kind of talked a little bit about is the difference between activities of daily living, uh-huh. which are the bathing and dressing and transferring and toileting. Those are the uh, those are the triggers that activate a policy, and usually you need at least two of those. Mm-hmm. And then there's the IADLs that we talked about. Yep. And so you know when you're looking when it comes to a day when you're having issues with, if you've had a lot of falls recently or you're afraid to take a bath uh, alone and you need to have somebody next you know in the room or in the mm-hmm. house, and if you find you're not getting dressed and, 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 and when you know as, as you go visit your mom or your dad and and they're always in their pajamas, you know there's a good chance mm-hmm. that they're probably struggling with some of those activities of daily living. And so uh, you need to know that when you're filing a a claim to pay for care, that you're working with an expert that understands that if you have a long-term care insurance, there's certain language that you need to fill out when you're filling out the paperwork. Mm -hmm. And also that there's certain certifications that need to be done. And uh, so make sure you're working with a a healthcare company that understands long-term care insurance and, and can help you file the paperwork and also can be your advocate um, in the event that uh, uh, you file the paperwork and uh, the claim goes south on it at any point. Got it. So options. Um, what options do seniors have if a claim is denied? You know, these policies are reimbursement policies, and typically mm-hmm. what happens is a, a senior uh, hires a, a private caregiver or an agency, and they come in, they provide outstanding, excellent care, but they didn't know that there's really tedious notes that need to be taken by the caregiver. Uh-huh. And uh, they, they send in the paperwork, and it gets denied, um, and they get a partial reason why, and, and they get frustrated. And what happens a lot of times is uh, families will cancel these policies and just get completely frustrated. Or, or they will, they'll, they'll, they'll not appeal them and not question the insurance company, and they'll just continue to pay privately. Okay. And so it's important to know that when a policy is denied, you have the right, and the insurance company should let you know that you have a right to, to appeal their decision. Mm-hmm. And if that appeal is denied, you have a right for a secondary appeal. And if that appeal is denied, you have a right for an independent review, which is a third-party uh, company that will review all the documentation um, and and look at whether or not the insurance company was only looking out for their own interest uh-huh. or if the um, if the policyholder is due the benefits that have been provided. So I would assume, Robert, that just like any other um, uh, loan or insurance or any uh, service that we have, you're going to have ones that provide a better coverage than other ones. Correct. Cor- correct. Some policies will only pay for care in the home, uh-huh. um, and usually those policies have a little bit lower premium. Um, and other policies may only pay for care in a in a nursing home. Uh-huh. Other policies may be what they call comprehensive policies that will pay for care in an assisted living facility. It'll pay for care in a nursing home. It'll pay for care at home. So you, every policy is completely different, and it's important to know what is in your policy. And that's mm-hmm. one thing that we do for all seniors when they call us is we do a complimentary review 
of their policy and let them know exactly what's in their benefit, uh, whether it covers care in the home, Mm -hmm. if they have a home modification, some policies will allow you to do a pretty good size remodel to make sure that the home is safe. Uh It'll pay for monitoring equipment so that families from afar can know that that your loved one is safe as well. Um, so yeah, there's lots of benefits and important to read through them with an mm-hmm. expert that understands that and then can put together a plan so that you can uh, have access to each of those benefits that you've been paying for over the years. Got it. Yeah, and I have to say, you know, from speaking experience with uh, my husband, my, you know, my mother-in-law right now, I mean, she's, she has very good coverage and, mm-hmm. and policy and she's, you know, everything that she needs is getting taken care of. And I just, it's really something to think about for, um, for our parents and our grandparents and make sure that we're, we, you know, that we're prepared. Sure, sure. So are there any other resources that seniors should be aware of that can help pay for the cost of care for this long-term care insurance? Sure. Uh, only about 8 to 10% of seniors have actually purchased long-term care insurance. So those that wow. do have it... Um, Utilize it. You know, don't mm-hmm. wait too long. Don't wait till the point where you're completely incapacitated. And uh, uh, more times than not, f- people pass away without utilizing any of their benefits. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, if you own your home or if you have a lot of uh, of equity in your home, uh, reverse mortgage companies uh, will. Hey, there's yeah. you can take that asset, the, the money that's in your home, to help pay for care. And you're going to want to make sure you work with a a specialist that. Uh, that specializes in reverse mortgages. Uh, mm-hmm. Over the years, they've kind of gotten a bad reputation, but there's been a lot of revamping done to, with the remor- with the reverse mortgage plans. Um, VA, if you're a veteran, there's mm-hmm. aid and attendance benefits. Mm-hmm. Um, if you go to the VA, then you uh, then uh, there's a homebound program that uh, that the VA will actually pay for care when you're in the home. So got it. Um, there's lots of resources, and we can help you by going, you know, sitting down and reviewing all the different options that are out there. So what are you really looking for in the agency that's representing that that policy for you? What are the differences from from one to another? Well, you're going to want to make sure that most of these policies say that you have to be a home health care agency. In Washington State, you have two options. You can be a licensed in-home care agency mm-hmm. or you can be a licensed home health care agency. And uh, Amada, we're a, 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 we started out as an in-home care agency, but realized that some of these carriers were having some issues with that licensure. So we added the in-home health care agency. Um, licensure on that. So you want to make sure you have the right licensure, but also ask questions. How many policies have, uh, how many how many seniors with long-term care insurance have they provided care for? Mm-hmm. Do they do the billing? Do they handle all the paperwork? What will you do for us if the policy is denied? Uh, will you advocate for us? Will you file the appeals? Will you work with the insurance commissioner mm-hmm. uh, in the event that the claim goes south and you need to go that way? So important things to determine before picking that agency that's going to uh, represent you. So I've got to take us to commercial here in just a minute. So a final takeaway for my listeners, uh, Robert, what would that be? You know, if you have long-term care insurance, don't wait too long to access it. Give us a call. We can help you understand when to use your benefits and how much benefits you have. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming back in studio. You bet, Tina. Coming up next in the money are, it's a crazy, crazy real estate market. It's critical to work with a skilled negotiator and picking the right one that's going to have the highest level of knowledge what to do in this market, the highest skill. It's going to take some questions to figure that out. That's why I've invited in Dan Edwards with the Eastside Real Estate Team right here at 1150 AM KKNW after this short break.